This is a quick video to show you how we measure the impedance of the bypass capacitors on the board. I happen to have two identical boards, one bare board and one with all the bypass capacitors. That one is hooked up to the set and L3 VNA from Rodan Schwartz. First, let's get the network analyzer set up. Up to one gigahertz, log scale, 10 hertz bandwidth. The impedance profile of this board shows a very low impedance around 1 MHz due to a lot of big capacitors in parallel. For the higher frequencies, we see four smaller capacitor values. Now let's switch to another configuration. This is the same board, but with different test point locations. The blue curve shows the first configuration, and the yellow curve shows the second configuration. As you can see, both of them are quite similar until we get to the higher frequencies where board resonances tend to dominate the picture. A quick switch to the bare board to see how that looks. As you can see, the impedance of the bare board is dominated by board capacitance. This is the capacitance between power and ground planes. At the higher frequencies, we see the board resonances. So how do we convert from the dBs we read off the screen to the ohms of impedance that we're after? Well, quite simple. The impedance is going to be 25 ohms times 10 to the dBs that we read off the, the screen, uh, divided by 20, so d, dB divided by 20. If we plug in the numbers from the demo, minus 70 dBs comes to about 8 milliohms. Hope you found this useful. See you next time.